Screening company Managed Integrity Evaluation has released its eighth edition of the Background Screening Index. Index, I should say. Criminal record checks remain the most requested of uh, their screenings. 7% of people on whom a criminal record check was done either lied about not having a criminal record or simply didn't know that they had one. The financial services industry presented the highest number of requests for qualification checks. To discuss this, I'm joined by Jennifer Barkhazen, who is the head of communications and supplier relations at Managed Integrity Evaluation. Now, did you manage to discover whether, in fact, those who said they didn't know that they had criminal records indeed uh, were telling the truth? It really did depend from candidate to candidate. So there was instances where they deliberately kept the information from, from uh, the screening company or the, the hiring organization. But if you do give consent and a criminal check is done by taking your fingerprints and your criminal check is on record, then of course that, that result will come back. However, there are, there are a few instances where people don't know that they have a criminal record. They might have been asked to pay a fine and then nothing would happen. And then later, when they do go for a, a criminal check, it becomes clear that there is something against their name because paying a fine is admission of guilt. And uh, you'll know, of course, about this, uh, the issue of, uh, there was an issue of a speeding fine, yes. for instance, against the <laughs> Director General of uh, Treasury, which has gotten big now. It involves the public protector, and there's been a lot of toing and froing. Um, the Finance Ministry filed some court papers yes. um, last week. H how serious does industry you know, the public protector obviously <laughs> takes it very seriously. Yes. But the, how serious does business take that, the issue of a criminal record um, like a speeding fine, for example? Well, that will really depend on the hiring organization at the end of the day, as well as the industry that they do operate in. For, for many industries, it's simply not acceptable having a criminal record. However, the hiring organization should also take into consideration the type of crime that was committed. If you have a criminal, criminal record of a serious nature, violence, uh, whatever the case might be, then you know it's, uh, the companies ultimately does take that very seriously. But if you as a, maybe a student 10, 15, 20 years ago did something foolish and unfortunately are now left with a criminal record, I think a company should really take that into consideration. And for a candidate applying for a position, it's really important for them as well to explain the, explain the criminal record, to say why they do have a criminal record in, instead of uh, not disclosing it at, at all, all. During, the, the, during the interview. Now, qualification checks are another um, uh, problem, problem areas. Yeah. Many people are still having, what do you call them, discrepancies? Discrepancies, <laughs> or they misrepresent themselves. Yes, according to, to, to our statistics, we really find that qualification detail in a CV is mostly represented by, that, by people. Now, that might be lying about having a qualification or they, they keep a few things from their CV or they make it, they make it that they report it maybe to a higher a senior manager or their skills, whatever the case might be you know, for that specific candidate. But degree mills are also quite still rough in the market. So when you look at qualifications, it's very easy going online and getting a certificate from a reputable institution and presenting that in the market. And then ultimately when the background check is done, then it becomes clear that that person is not qualified. And that is again where companies need to ensure that the proper checks are done on a candidate before they are hired to ensure that the person you are appo appointing is qualified and they are skilled to do, to do the job. Is pressure to sort of present yourself as a better candidate than you actually are all that is behind people kind of falsifying or uh, having these discrepancies? I think it does play a part in the sense that, you know, there's very high unemployment in South Africa. A quarter four statistics was at 27.1%. So it, unemployment in South Africa is unfortunately still a, a very big issue. And that 
that makes people people desperate and desperate times you know people will lie on the other hand you get people that is just dishonest and they want to take the easy way out by buying a certificate online or you know lie about their their qualifications and skills on their CVs and that's another thing that companies should also consider instead of just checking the qualification or the criminal or the credit history it's actually go through their CV, go through their employment and see what if everything is, is, is checking out on, on, on the CV. Now your report says the financial services industry yes. um, are sort of, is the one that's sort of leading the pack. They are the ones who sort of seem to value integrity and proper and uh, a true qualifications more than others. What is it? Is it because um, they sort of, is it because they simply value those more or is it because perhaps other industries are a bit more lax when it comes to this sort of things? If you look at the financial services industry, you know, regulation plays a very big part and companies need to ensure that if they are hiring within the industry that the people that they're appointing are, are qualified because ultimately those people will be on selling products and services to, to the public. So integrity and is important. Integrity is very important and that's why we believe there's been such an increase in the demand for specifically qualification checks within the financial services industry. Well, I need to go and uh, look up my CV and see whether <laughs> I never at some point sort of qualify, uh, uh, <laughs> sort of tweaked or <laughs> tempered with any of my actual and real qualifications. Jennifer Parkhazen, who is the head of communications and supplier relations at Managed Integrity Evaluation.